I had a really great time tonight. I can't believe it's been six months already. Yeah, time flies. I got you this. When you squeeze its ear, it has a really special message. But don't squeeze it yet. Wait till you're alone. That way it's more special. All right, I will. Hey Jennifer, I just wanted to tell you that I love you with all my heart and you mean the world to me. And since we've been together for six months, I feel I can trust you with what I'm about to tell you. I haven't told anybody about this. It was a cold rainy night in November and I just got off work from the mine across town. Driving down the road, I, I feel a bump come across the front of my truck. I get out to see what I've hit. It was Farmer Billy's daughter, Crystal. She had no pulse. I, I didn't see her. I never saw her on the road. I began to panic, not knowing what the police would do to me. I took a shovel out the back of my truck and buried her body. I thought that would be the end of it until I ran into Farmer Billy at the grocery store. He was putting up flyers about how his daughter was missing. He kept giving me this look as if he knew what I had done. So I began to panic again and I drove out to where I buried the body. This time I took out my pickaxe and chopped up the body into tiny little pieces. Then I hid all the different body parts all over town. <laughs> it was all okay until it became national news. Have you seen Crystal Miles? Does anybody know of her whereabouts? I knew, but I didn't want to face the punishment that was going to come to me if I admitted to what I had done. So I began to panic and came up with an idea to end it all. I gathered all the body parts back together. I began to cook the body parts into several meals. Then your family welcomed me with open arms Thanksgiving. We all sat down and enjoyed the Thanksgiving meal together. Finally, I felt a peace as your family and I had eaten the evidence. Now we can both live our lives as two normal people. Jennifer, will you marry me?